pastoral theology I know is a valid uh, way of interpreting uh, ancient understandings of uh, not only astronomical alignments, but uh, their mythologies as well, and the meanings of uh, ancient myths involving, for example, the Greek Olympic and uh, uh, Titan deities. Uh, as well as the Anunnaki and Igigi of Sumer and the uh, Vedic and Hindu pantheon. All of these have elements of what's been called astrotheology, as well as there being uh, elements in even earlier uh, pre-written history, uh, burial mound alignments, and etc., such as Stonehenge uh, from uh, the Kurgan culture prior to the beginning of written history and organized religion. So astrotheology has been around as long as uh, people, at least. It's a fascinating subject. Uh, definitely uh, people uh, found out, most people that I've uh, met who know what astrotheology uh, is found out about it through the Zeitgeist Project from several back. Um, the Zeitgeist Project explained it as being uh, key to understanding all the ancient myths. Uh, I think it's a good way to start uh, studying the ancient myths, but it may not be the uh, end-all, be-all explanation for them. Uh, for example... Um, Uh, the 12 zodiac signs and the 12 apostles, etc., things like that. Uh, uh, astrotheology definitely describes a lot of that, but it doesn't necessarily describe uh, absolutely all of it. And some of that may also be based on number theory as well. <clears throat> 